okay uh, the vase is shaped like this that I have a small opening if you want to trim the bottom uh, you have will have to uh, let it sit on the chuck um, today I'm going to show you how to make a chuck a wet chuck and uh, usually I keep my chuck uh, at the uh, leather half stage and uh, the reason why I'm doing it, I explained it before. Uh, because the leather hot check, it's easier for your clay to uh, stick. And uh, your check will be uh, easier if you need to do some adjustment. Like if the opening is not big enough, you can always trim it off. And also, when you use a clay ball to secure, because the wet check is still uh, wet, so it's easier for you to clay ball to stick on it. So I'm going to show you how I make my chuck. Usually I have about uh, six, seven pounds of clay and I use the whole clay. Um, I make my chuck a little bit thicker so it's a little bit heavier. And when you are doing the trimming, the chuck doesn't fly away. And also when your chuck is a bit thicker, uh, it's uh, it's it's not easy to get warp. Um, I don't fire my chuck. I just keep it that way. Keep it at the last stage. Okay, uh, for making the chop, it's just as usual you do the, the same thing that you would uh, try to get your center as, as good as possible. And then uh, you open the hole and you open the hole all the way to the bottom. You don't need a bottom. So. I'm going to throw a, a multi-purpose chuck so that, the, that your chuck can fit uh, many different kinds of shape. I would say that maybe you uh, a width about like six, maybe six inches wide for your base, at least. And then you just dig a hole. Open your hole all the way to the bottom.
this is it. Okay, this is the uh, top view of my chuck so that you can see because uh, I told you that I like to have them uh, sit on different sizes of opening so uh, from the outside that if my part is wider I can let it sit on this part if my uh, opening is a, the shoulder is smaller I can let it sit on this part and also uh, if even I have a smaller opening, smaller shoulder, I can flip over using the other side. So uh, this is the multi-purpose chuck. Um, you can see that uh, I keep it uh, quite a bit of a thickness. So my chuck is thick and heavy. So when it sits on the wheel head, it's very steady. It doesn't fly it away. That's the uh, idea of making a wet chuck and also I usually let my, my chuck I keep it at the other half stage and pretty much I can use that forever if I don't let it dry so uh, after every use or before use I just will dip it in water or spray some water to it so to keep the moisture and after I finish I just wrap it in the uh, plastic bag so uh, basically, it can last forever. You don't need to make a chuck, a new chuck for every one of your piece. Just use a one, and then it lasts forever. Okay.